गुड इवनिंग फ्रेंड्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू मेडिटेट लिटल बेट ऑन नोआ एंड पर्टिकुलरली आई वॉन्टेड टू फोकस ऑन जेनेसिस सिक्स एट एंड देर इट इज रिटर्न बट नोआ फाउंड ग्रेस इन द आईज ऑफ याह we you might have heard so many times ke that noah was righteous noah was good in his generation and that is why god selected him but that is not the case if you study the word grace noah found grace you know where there is one more thing written about noah in second peter chapter 2 verse 5 noah was actually first evangelist listed in the bible in in second peter chapter 2 verse 5 it is written he was preaching righteousness in his generation he was a preacher of righteousness he was a evangelist in his time but anyway uh, we are trying to focus on what did noah did and why god selected him while well, do you remember the devil wants to destroy the mankind the devil wants to destroy the human race so jesus cannot come to this earth and save the human race he tried every point of the view or every point every time in history to destroy the human race do you remember the last time when jesus was dying on the cross he came and said that if you are the son of god then come down so we can believe you if jesus would have come down and he has authority and he is a power because he is a son of god he he can come down from the cross and if he would have come down from the cross he would not have died and if he would not have died there is a no room for my and your salvation so the devil was trying from the beginning to destroy the mankind and take away take away every opportunity of salvation So if you read chapter 6 it says that when the man was increasing on the earth everyone everyone's deeds and actions and thoughts was constantly evil and it says that God was repented or well, repented and not, not in a sense that he was like uh he did something wrong it it was in a sense that God house heart was grieving that why this mankind or the man or the my of the my creation does not understand that i wanted to give them a life of abundance you recall that when jesus was approaching jerusalem he cried o jerusalem jerusalem if only you would have known the things for your peace jesus cried his heart was grieving so god was repented it is written but actually it was grieving because people were not understanding the fullness of life god wants to offer them and then it says that then noah were found grace in in yahweh's eyes well he was he was a good person but god did not selected him because he was a good or doing right things god was showing a grace on him the actual meaning that 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 grace that grace found him It is like Noah was Noah was on earth and grace went after him and grace found him. So God initiates in finding it out Noah. And actually if you wanted to understand the word grace in Hebrew it is it is it is written as shen C H E N shen. Now the 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 translation uh is is done in in hebrew from hebrew to greek to english but the hebrew language is very rich greek language has some sometimes a very loose translation we know that grace uh, in greek uh, translated as unmerited favor it is not a wrong translation but i wanted to explain you some some difference if somebody says that this bag is heavy it could be in a greek but if you wanted to say in in hebrew you would say that this bag is 50 kg or 50 pound heavy now you have a very specific how heavy the bag is or this water is very hot but if it, that could be in, in greek but if if it is in hebrew then it would say that this water is so hot it will burn your screen 
or it will it will take out the skin from your body so now you understand that how specific the hebrew language is so if you look at the the words uh, uh, the grace words in hebrew shen now the shen word is uh, is composed of a two hebrew letter shet and and another thing, the Hebrew words are a pictorial, pictorial words. So the shed uh, is a picture by a fence or meaning a private or separated from outside. And the another word is noon, shed and noon. So shed is a picture by fence or separated from outside. And noon is basically seed of life or, or the life. So you see the, the, the grace means separated from outside to protect life that is grace so when God showed grace towards Noah that means God showed Shen to Noah that means God found him and protected him from outside to preserve the life that life of you and me Jesus and God had you and me in mind when God spared and selected Noah. If the whole generation in Noah's time would have perished, including Noah, then how Jesus would have come to this earth and how he would have died for my and your sin. So now you see that, that God took initiative in finding Noah. There is another interesting part about Noah's name. Noah's name is also now two words like grace is is consist of two words shed and noon noah is consisted of noon and shed which means um another another translate another if you put a noon and shed uh in in that form in that uh, uh way then it is arresting or it could be translated the hair separated from outside the hair separated from outside that is that is the name of noah so you see my friends god selected noah god's grace shan found noah on the earth separated noah and preserved it so jesus could come to this earth for the ultimate sacrifice to save you and me Friends, God's plan for you and me are from before the foundation of this earth. From before even we knew about it. Millions and thousands, thousands of years earlier, God saw you and me and he made a plan. He separated Noah. He saved him. So today, me and you can find eternal life and enter the eternal life. Don't take it light. I hope when you read Noah's story, don't think that way, that Noah was good, that's why God selected him. But God wanted to save you and me. That is why God found God's favor, God's grace found Noah. He separated him from outside preserved him so you and me can enter in eternal life. God's grace is so big, so wide. So don't worry about doing good deeds. Abraham, I have told earlier, when Abraham was idol worshiper, God selected him. God select people, not because they are good. God choose people because God loves you and me and them. Hope you will take courage in this and enter the rest that God has prepared for you and me. God bless you and thank you.